to the left or the right there's no puddles uh, indicating leaks there's no wires hanging down and no debris my clearance lights turn signals and my marker lights are all amber in color they're not cracked broke or missing any lenses my headlights are clear in color not cracked broke or missing any lenses and we go over to the go Indicate a leak. All the straps are tight and the bolts are tight. Cooling reservoir securely mounted. It's uh, between and full. It's not leaking. Clamps are tight. Wires are tight. And the, uh, there's a cap on it. When the engine is cooled off, I will take the cap off to check the uh, level. I will follow this large hose down to the water pump. The water pump is securely mounted. It's gear driven. It's not cracked, broke, or leaking. Alternator is securely mounted. It's belt driven. It's uh, The belt is no less than three-fourths play. Uh, it's not cut or frayed. The wires, electrical wires on the alternator are tight and they're not cut or frayed. All my wires on this side of the vehicle are tight, they're not cut or frayed. All my hoses are securely mounted, they're not leaking, and all my clamps are tight. Let's go to the left side. my wires, my clamps, and my hoses, I will check on this side like I did on the passenger side. Uh, power steering reservoir, securely mounted. Securely mounted. They're not uh, leaking. It has a uh, dipstick. I would take it out and check it. Just follow this large hose to the power steering pump. It's securely mounted. It's not cracked, broke, or leaking. <coughs> and it's uh, gear driven. The air compressor is securely mounted. It's not cracked, broke, or leaking. All the hoses are tight. The dipstick, <coughs> oil dipstick, is back here. It's securely mounted. It's not cracked, it's not leaking. I would pull it out and check the oil level that is uh, between add and full. The uh, steering gearbox, securely mounted. It's not cracked, it's not broke, it's not leaking. And the hoses are tight. The uh, universal joint. Securely is properly greased and the bolts are tight. The steering shaft, pitman arm, drag link, steering knuckle, and the tie rod are all securely mounted, not bent, broke, or twisted. Castle nuts and cotter keys are in place. Spring mounts, front and back, are securely mounted, not cracked, broke, or twisted, and the bolts are tight. Leaf springs are securely mounted, they're not bent, broke, or twisted, they're not cracked. The um, shock absorber is securely mounted top and bottom, it's uh, not cracked, broke, or leaking. The um, U-bolts are securely mounted, they're not cracked, there's no shiny metal indicating looseness. The um, brake line is securely mounted, is not cracked, broke, or leaking. ABS line is securely mounted, not cracked, cut or free. Brings you to the brake chamber. Brake chamber, securely mounted, it's not cracked, broke, bent, or dented. 
your clamp is tight. Push rod and the slack adjuster. Securely mounted, not bent, broke, or twisted. Cotter keys and the pins are in place. The brake drum is securely mounted. There's no indication of an inner seal leak. And the lining is secure and is not worn dangerously thin. Castle nuts and cotter keys are in place. Tires, inner, outer, tire walls, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Tires are evenly worn. There's no less than 4 30 seconds tread depth, and there's no separation. Rim is uh, securely mounted, it's not bent, broke twisted. There's no signs of illegal welds. The uh, valve stem is securely mounted. It's not bent or cracked. It has a uh, metal cap. I will check it with a tire gauge. All my bolts are tight. They're secured. There are no rust trails to indicate looseness. The hub seal is securely mounted. It's not cracked. All the bolts are tight. It has a rubber cap. Then I will take it off and put my finger in there and check it. Mirror mount, securely mounted, not bent, and not uh, broke or twisted. Bolts are tight. Door opens and closes freely. There's no, um, the hinges are not binding. Rubber seal around the, the door, and it's not leaking. Turn signal is uh, amber in color. Securely mounted, it's not a, uh, Crack broke or missing any lenses. The stairs and the catwalk are securely mounted. There's no debris. All the bolts are present and tight. And the stairs hold the driver's weight. Fuel tank securely mounted. There's no illegal welds. There's no leaks or puddles under the bottom of it. It's being held by two straps that are secured to the trailer frame. And the straps have rubber seals under there that are not dry rotted. It has a fuel cap, it has a rubber seal inside that's not dry rotted. Electrical line is secured to the tra tractor and to the trailer. It's not cut or frayed, no exposed wires, and the latches are present. The air lines are secured to the tractor, back of the tractor and to the back of the trailer, front of the trailer. The uh, air lines are not cracked, they're not leaking. They're secure with the glad hands, which are not broke or missing. And the uh, rubber grommets are intact. They're not dry rotted and they're not missing. The drive shaft is under the catwalk. It's securely mounted, not bent, broke, or twisted. And the universal joints in the front of the back are um, properly greased and the bolts are tight. The header board is securely mounted. There's no holes in it and there's no indication of bulging from a shifted load. All the rivets are in place. <clears throat> Clearance lights are amber in color and not crack broke or missing any lenses. The EOT tape is securely mounted. It's not crack broke or peeling. <clears throat> Splash guard and mud flap securely mounted. They're not cracked. They're not hanging dangerously low. Brake chamber. We got the brake line, ABS line, brake chamber, the clamp, push rod, and slack adjuster. I would check those like I did on the steer action. Spring mount, and spring mount, springs, U-bolts, and the shock absorber. I would check those like I did on the steer axle. Torque bar or torque arm, whatever you want to call it, is not bent, broke, or twisted, and the bushings are properly greased. The drum behind the tire here, the drum and the lining, I would check it like I did on the steer axle. Now let's do the tires. Inner, outer, inner, outer, tire walls, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. They're evenly worn. There's um, 
proper spacing. It's evenly worn. There's no separation. And the tread depth is 230 seconds. There's proper spacing between the tires. No debris. Rim, lug nut, valve stem. I would check those like I did on the steer axle. Axle seal, securely mounted. All the bolts are tight and they're not leaking. And it's not leaking. Spring um, airbag mount, top and bottom is secure to the top and the bottom. Airbag is not cut and is not leaking. The ap apron is secure to the trailer. There's no illegal holes, no bulges. There's no space between the fifth wheel and the apron. The fifth wheel is properly greased. The fifth wheel is secured to the platform and the bolt and cotter keys are in place. The platform is securely mounted to the trailer frame and the, I mean the tractor frame and, the, and all the bolts are tight and present. The tractor frame is not bent, broke, or twisted. The release arm is in the lock position, is not bent, and is not missing. And under here is the, the locking jaw is around the kingpin shank, and the kingpin shank is not bent, broke, or missing. The tail light, tail, tail light, is red in color. The reverse light is white in color, clear in color. It's not cracked, broke, or missing any lenses. Cross members are secure, not cracked, broke, or missing. There's no holes in the floor. How much time? Uh, you got like four minutes left. Okay. Uh, landing gear is secure to the trailer. It's not cracked or bent. The handle is in the in the holster resting. The um, pads are in the raised position, not cracked or broken. Tail light, I mean, uh, turn signal is amber in color, not cracked, broke, or missing any lenses. The um, brake lines and air, and uh, air um, electric lines are securely mounted, not um, hanging dangerously low. They're not cracked. They're not leaking, and they're not cut or frayed. Inside the wheel well, I would do brake drum and the brake lining. I would check those like I did on the drive axle. The spring mount, the spring, and the U-bolt, I would check those like I did on the drive axle. The um, torque bar or torque arm is not bent, broke, or twisted. The, and it's securely mounted. The um, brake chamber, the brake line, ABS line, brake chamber, the clamp, push rod and slack adjuster. Check those like I did on the steer axle. These tire, inner outer, inner outer, properly spraced, no debris, evenly worn. We check these like we did on the, on the drive axle. The rim, lug nut, valve stem, check these like we did on the steer axle. If there was a, uh, if there was an airbag, which is not on this trailer, airbag mount the airbag, I would check it like I did on the drive axle. This axle, I would check like we did this axle. This mud flap, we would check like we did on the drive axle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, this, oh, this axle, this axle, yes. The um, sliding tandem is securely mounted. It's not cracked, broke. All the pins are extended through the holes and the handle's in the lock position. ABS light. Securely mounted, it's uh, amber in color, not cracked, broke, or missing any lenses. Tail light, I mean marker light, tail light, clearance lights are securely mounted, not cracked, broke, or missing any lenses. Door opens and closes freely, there's no holes. Handles in the lock position. Um, the strap is not cut or frayed. The um, cable is securely mounted, proper tension, not cut or frayed. Lift gate or ramp is in the lock position safety is it, safety chain is in place hydraulic line is not leaking the turn, um, license plate is up to date registration the uh, light is clear in color not crack broke missing any lenses d 
DOT tape is not cut or peeling. I would check this side of the vehicle like I did this side of the vehicle. When I get here, I would ask the examiner how much time I have. And if he tells me I got five to seven minutes, then I would go he tell him I would go check my lights going inside my cab. And then I would have to tell him left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashes, tail lights, brake lights. Then he would go to the front, left turn signal, right turn signal, four-way flashers, headlights, high beams. And at that point, that ends this.